Hi everybody, I am at the iconic Grace Building here in New York and I'm going to see Human Scale to talk about their iconic Freedom Chair by Niels Diffriant, celebrating 20th anniversary. So come on. I mean, this is your new showroom. This, this is our is new showroom. Amazing. Wow. Thank you. We're really proud of it. We're in the Grace Building. This is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. You were telling me that Nils talked about form and function in a way that he really believed, right? He believed so strongly that when you design something, you should first start with the problem. If you do that without being decorative in any way, you end up with something that's beautiful and timeless. So how did you all meet? Well, I started Human Scale in the early 80s. We were, we pioneered ergonomics. But I realized that no matter what we did, people would still hunch over their desk. And the, and the reason for that, we realized, is that no one knew how to operate their chair. No one could lean back in their damn chair. <laughs> and then someone said, Bob, you should go see Niels Different. Mm. He's the, the greatest living chair designer. Niels and I sat down. And we, and we talked. We talked for a long time, a um, few hours. And what we talked about was how important making things simple and easy to use are. So did you feel like you found a kindred spirit? We both believed in the same thing. Right. After a couple of hours or so, he said, you know, come with me upstairs. He had a prototype of, of that chair, the, uh, the Freedom Headrest chair, that he'd been working on for seven years prior which was very cool. And he said, sit down. And it held, held me up as if it were locked. And then he said, lean back, Bob. And I leaned back and it held me up as if it were locked. I said, where's the tension adjustment and the, and the recline lock? And why aren't we using them? Right. And he said, I got rid of all that crap. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? He said, I got rid of all that crap. And I replaced it with one simple thing, the sitter's own body weight. Wow. And I said, gee, that's pretty clever, Deals. It seems to me that Nils was really so ahead of his time. He was always miles ahead of everyone else. 20 years later, the Freedom Chairs, it, looks as relevant now as it did then, but it's more relevant in some ways because right. now everyone's going to hot desking and, yes. and that sort of environment. We keep making it better and better. Because we keep perfecting it. So you're now on your 20th anniversary, which is very exciting. And Time goes like, by quickly. I know, can you believe it? I can't believe it. But I think it's very special when you know you have something that you, that you celebrate it, you lift it up, and you remind everybody. It's a wonderful thing to have a 20th and say, look, look what Niels did. Right, look, right. Look at this wonderful piece of design. Yes, and yeah. It's an opportunity to do that. When Niels was alive, one of my great motivations was to make sure we kept him happy. Now that he's gone, I still think that way. I think he would be really proud.